All right, let's see how. Let's see how this goes. Those are semi Slink versus uh, Louis Jesus. Uh, I don't think they fought in winners. But yeah, Slink, not usually someone who's like terribly active in the brackets, but when he is, he actually always does pretty well. So, so far, so good for him. Uh, Luigi just makes some pretty good distance in the bracket. Uh, this is loser semi, so guaranteed fourth uh, for either one of them. Anyway, Slink gonna get a relatively mid percent kill on Luigi just, and now uh, Luigi is gonna have to try and play some catch up here. It's gonna be a little bit difficult because, like versus Belmont, like there's just so much that you have to get around. There's just so much obstacle to deal with, and uh, Slink is quite good at oh my wow i was gonna say like holding back but i guess when when push comes to shove if he can try and take a mile he'll go for it all right so now we have just a full stock lead for uh slink louis jesus was able to sneak in uh a kill right on that respawn and just like eliminate that first stock but <sighs> could be too little too late we'll just have to see right now damage is kind of going in favor for louis jesus uh, I might have spoken too soon because he's just on the, being held on the ledge. And what can you do? Oh, hilarious. It bounced off his shield, so he ended up getting hit by it. Remember, once the if the holy water like hits not like its normal explosion, like if it hits someone's shield and bounces off, it hit every it hits everybody. Anyway, alright, Louis Jesus has a potential edge guard going on. Whiffs it just barely. That's gonna be a big, pretty big deal if he's not able to get the kill uh, pretty early because ooh, we don't want to see more damage. Nice. All right, another edge guard potential. Nice. Reads the jump and hits him with the forward air. And now suddenly, not so bad. 40 damage doesn't have to be the worst. However, a really unfortunate situation is they would put into the ledge situation, but he was able to make it out. Uh. Pretty unscathed, just managed to find the right rhythm and just was not held there uh, long enough for enough to get built up. So good stuff to him. However, you know, a little bit of a percent deficit here, kind of going into a big bit of percent deficit. Nice, I like the idea on waiting on the ledge there because there was really nothing he was going to do there. He wasn't close enough where the uh, where he could hit the ledge, so it was better to just stay back. It's really hard judgment calls to make, uh, especially when there's so much happening, so you have to act quick at the same time. It can be very, uh, it can be very taxing. Anyway, Luigi's just closing the gap here on this percentages, but gonna get caught by the holy water on the ledge. Tried to, I think he tried to pull out the, uh, the soccer ball, but, and then just got clipped. Let's see that again. I think it was, I think he went for soccer. Yeah, he got, the, yeah, it was a re-grab, so. And he did normal getup. Okay, he pretty much got caught by doing normal getup. I mean, there really wasn't too much notice for any reason not to get up there. So it was just kind of unfortunate. Sling had it still covered. At least, at the very least, it wasn't, like, obvious to me. But, yeah. And, uh, yeah, so Sling going to be taking game one. Dang, and, uh, yeah. I oh. missed an entire game, huh? Yeah. Uh, it was kind of going back and forth. This kill was kind of insane. Oh, actually, this is his, like... This is the revenge kill, I think. Yeah, it is. All right, wait. Nice. Look at the, the, the up here, Look at the 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 kill right before that revenge kill. He he actually like, look at this. He goes for the down tilt off stage, like peace. Let's go and and get out of here. Then chases after him. Fantastic. Nice. Yeah. I, see, I've seen that like once or twice before. Marshall's hit me with that, I think. But it's such like a. Uh, like, it, it's not a call-out per se, because with most characters, it would just be like, oh, yeah, I'm going off stage to apply pressure to you. But yeah. for Belmont, Belmont to go off stage with his down tilt, launch himself off stage, and forward air you. It's a read. Yeah. So that's nice. All right, so game two, we're going to town and city. Uh, this is going to be Louis Jesus' counter pick. Um, mm -hmm. I, I, I always feel weird about this. Like, I don't know. It, it's funny, because, like... Belma makes you like he has like he's a he's a literal obstacle course that you need to get around right. Mm -hmm. So you think to yourself like I need more space so that I can like kind of deal with this stuff. But I always get a little bit I always get a little bit cautious about that just because of the fact that 
if you ha if he has space too, he's like, ah, yes, I do not have space over here to make my setups. Let me, dude, 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 come over here and then get going, you know? See, I think that's true. I think there's a couple things about that. Um, number one is that when Belmont is trying to space you out, his setups are not as, like, flexible. Well, that's not fair. His projectiles in a vacuum are not as flexible as someone like Wii Fit. Like, yeah. if Wii Fit Sun Salutations uh, or charges it, she can release it, she can air dodge. Yeah. Um, if she's grounded, she can shield and jump out of it. Whereas with Belmont, uh, if he's throwing his projectiles, he's already committing to them and can only choose the angle. And then, importantly, on top of that, with his aerials, uh, if he wants to snipe you and he wants to stay, like, safe, then he only really has, like, a couple spacings when he's either landing or uh, coming up from a hop to do them. Yeah, I mean, so, ju just to play to a little bit what I was saying was just the fact that, like, Slink has already got, like, a more than full stock lead here. Louis Jesus is on the triple percent on his second stock. Like, he just he got the space that he took, and he was just like, ha-ha. And not to mention, the town and city, uh, it's either normal or, like, slightly close uh, ledge to blast zone ratio. I don't recall. Yes. But yeah, so, oh my, I actually just realized now he's on the two stock lead here, only taking 70 damage. It's, uh, I think it's the reverse of how it was in Smash 4, where the ceiling is either high or normal, and then the blast zones to the sides are short, if I'm not mistaken. Man, bring um, back, bring back tiny, tiny town where everybody dies <laughs> edition. That was my favorite. Yeah. Yo, anyway. remember when Halberd was legal in Smash 4? The low ass ceilings on that. Okay, thing? that one, that was a little bit much. I don't know why they did that to that stage. They didn't have to, whatever. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> Slink. Uh, beginning to get his percentages up a little bit, so Louis Jesus might be able to take this first stock, but it's only yes. his first stock while Louis Jesus is on his last. And look at so these percentages. Oh. Yeah, this is a pretty rough situation to try to come back from, especially at this point. Like, he's not too far outside of just hit a random forward tilt and win the game range, uh, which is like the worst possible place to be. Against All right. Nice. Gonna get a little bit of a snipe there with the soccer ball, and. That's gonna take out his first stock, but like, at what cost? This this match kind of is over. Like 150 damage. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I don't Run put yourself through that stress if you don't have to, because you have the rest yes. of this best of five set to deal with. And so like, it just you know when to call it, and you go, okay, mm -hmm. fine. I'll, I'm gonna get a better start next one. There's no reason for me to just like go through the frustration of yeah. just playing catch up for so long, and then the odds of me sur uh, surmounting this for a win is already so slim. So yes. un and then, understandable. And I, I've said this a lot, and I feel like it's really underappreciated. Oftentimes, is that mental energy and the meta around how you ex bend it is 100% a factor in games like this. Like, imagine if you, the the standard viewer watching this right now, if you went online and played a good Belmont, and he was just kicking your ass like this. Now imagine that to beat him, you had to win against him three separate times. You have to play, uh, you might be playing five matches against this Belmont. You have to, like, allow yourself Ooh. the mental space. Ooh. 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 Oh, oh my, God. Louis Jesus picking Wolf. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I actually, I kind of like it. Uh, I like the idea behind it. I don't know how well trained uh, Louis Jesus' Wolf is going to be, but like, you know, Wolf is going to have a, a lot more of a straightforward type approach, and that's something, mm -hmm. and that's something that's a lot easier to handle the obstacle course that uh, that Belmont sets up. Because like, you know, when you're Wii Fit, it's just like. It's like, I, I gotta try and trap you and do this stuff, but then like I have to trap you while I'm also playing literally your game by getting around your projectiles. And Wolf is just like, look at my blaster. Look at my sick aerial movement. Check out this forward air. So, yes. Know. Yes, and I think that uh, Wolf doesn't need so much of his lifeblood to be at the ledge, unlike Wii Fit, where if you throw yourself to the ledge yes. with Wii Fit, you're going to be holding Belmont ledge traps, which is yeah. awful. It, you it, never want to hold Belmont ledge it, traps. It, it's almost it. like he was made to counter her if you're going to try and play that, that play style. So yeah, you're totally right. Like Wolf is going to be able to play on the entire stage and yes. you know not play where Belmont is literally strongest. 
Did you so. see that Nair trading with Cross right there? That's kind of nutty. Uh, uh. It's actually really good. All right, well, is. Luigi's is going to be uh, losing his stock first. Now, again, you don't want to be in a catch-up situation. Now, this could be a little bit easier because of the Wolf pick, and he has been keeping this pretty competitive. So if he's able to that. take this stock... Yes. Then we could be seeing ourselves in a good position, but Slink is already pulling ahead. Is what I would say if he weren't going to get hit by the very last bit of that uh, whatever Wolf Up B is called. Oh my god. Yeah, uh, Wolf Kick. Big doggy kick. My um, god, that yeah. was so unfortunate. Ended up getting trapped and caught up with the. I mean, great thinking by Slink, just being like, you know, he's up there, I'm going to go for it. Honestly, am I going to get really hard punished? I just spawned, I'm fine. So, yeah, going to get a really early you know, kill. Yeah. He's doing a good job here. He's doing his best to try to maneuver this. Uh, reflecting cross is very good if Belmont's B button happy. Uh, I wonder if this is also maybe some matchup and experience coming to bite him in the ass a little bit. Because stuff like the uh, the dive kick off of shield there, it looked like he wasn't sure what his uh, response was. Mm. So, I don't okay. know how many Belmonts he's played. Yeah, like that. That is, it's not quite a punish situation. It's basically a chase that's really in your favor because yeah. Belmont airspeed is not great. Yeah, you gotta kind of think about it like maybe Sonic homing attack where you don't want it to hit your shield. Like, if you see that you're gonna go for it, like go for the spot dodge or something so that they're like forced to land and be, and then they'll be in a bad situation. Mm -hmm. And you saw that Louie was actually playing around it right there as well. He got to the spacing, but Ooh. then he went for the uh, down smash to punish, which wasn't Oh my god. Right Fortunate Ooh, for Louis that was Jesus. a neat little, like, uh, pick up. Yeah. yeah Yo, the, the Nair nice. going through Landing the axe Nair, as well. Before he said they went through the cross, now the axe. Good lord. I don't know about these upbees, though. I feel like he's maybe using this as, like, a way to get in that specific angle where axe is not going to go low enough, but it'll go over cross. But it's a really, like, big liability, I feel I, like. I, Even I, if it is oh a kill my percent. God. I was oh, going to say, dead. like, I kind of feel like that's just maybe because his wolf isn't as trained as his other mains, and so it's just like, oh, this is a move that can be a kill move. So, like, no one will see that coming. But it's just like, it, it's not so much that it's a telegraph move, it's just that it's such a commitment sort of thing. You know, it's not fast. Mm -hmm. So, like, if your opponent isn't heavy committing themselves, like, it's going to be pretty rare to get caught by something like can, that. Can you replay that? The, that one last kill real sure. quick? Yeah. I, I'm not sure. I think it, maybe I'm just going crazy, but... What do you want um, to see right here? It looked like he did. No, okay, maybe I'm crazy. So I thought what we were, yes, he did. He did that down tilt and maybe he was just out of the way and then got into the range of it. But I think he went under the hitbox. Cause that has an initial scoop or maybe he be... he was faster than it. I don't know. I think he was faster. I mean, than you can see that. So right here is where he started it. Yes. And then, and remember, remember, like, Wolf does do a little jump. Oh, actually, yeah, he he didn't get the up smash out at all. Oh, he didn't get it at all? Okay, yeah, I guess you. Look, he you see, he just, like, initiates it, and then boom. Like, he never even had a chance to get the launcher, I'm pretty mm -hmm. sure. And then, yeah. Because I saw the opening frames of that, and that registered in my mind as wolf up smash and wolf up smash and not working didn't process right <laughs> so i was like wait what do you mean wolf up smash didn't work <laughs> that yeah and that, 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 move really is, uh, that move is usually a great vacuum like it'll just like suck people in you know uh wolf's up smash yeah. powered by dyson uh the many don't know that you know dude it's the raisin brand up smash because it's got two scoops one on either side okay how did he end up in this situation i kind of i feel like i blinked for a moment so he got the kill Mm -hmm. And then, where are you going? Where are you going? He got yeah. axed. Yeah, all right. That was oh. just... Yeah, okay. He, that, he was yeah. trying to land with Nair because he was thinking there was another axe coming. You can see the Nair and the... Uh, yeah, I, 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 I would say, honestly, the, it would have just been better to not be in, like, such a high position. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's just like... I mean, like, I, I'm not really going to blame... Anybody for not for expecting for not expecting Belmont to be like, oh yeah, let me just try and randomly roof you, haha, <laughs> mm -hmm. you know. But like, I mean, again, you know, optimally, like the safest position would have been like, let me try and stay center. You know, there was a platform there, so like it's fine. 
Um, mm. Even though he had just spawned, like, just, like, stay on the ledge and then use the platform if you need to get out and away. But, like, don't hang out up there because if you're getting hit while you're already up there, you're getting so high. You know, that's kind of a hindsight 2020 sort of thing. That's not really a uh, thing. Slink? Slink? It's best of five, Slink. <laughs> Slink? Does he know that? Hope so. Uh. I mean, even if, even if, wait. Oh, Louis Jesus left. Sorry, Louis Jesus. Louis Jesus, best of five. Uh, he's hanging his head. I'll I'll, I guess I'll check the Discord. See if my yeah. man's is just not having it. Uh, to be fair, like this would be one of those characters. Not oh, to say that like okay, any back. character is not something. Oh, there we go. Welcome back, Louis Jesus. But uh, yeah, I 100% agree with you with the platform thing. I think that's uh, the worst of like both worlds on that. I know that Belmont's not a particularly Wait. vertical character. Maybe I'm crazy. But... Did I get the scores wrong? Or oh, it was 3-0. Oh, I'm nuts. I had the uh -oh. score 1-1. My bad. Oh. All right.